to take the communion this evening it's a month of engagement we call it divine engagement someone shout divine engagement i've told you in january that 2023 is a journey the journey is very far the more you are looking at the journey as if it's coming to an end you just call and say that the journey just begin all right there's so much gallops in 2023 but god will be our shock observer i know that the word of god said that the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off our expectations are yes and amen in christ but only christ had the power to enforce them i told my friend this morning i said when evil continue in the land it's not that the evil is more powerful than god but it's just that god has permitted it are we here god has permitted it and god has an end the bible says we make an end I, I told you on sunday that they sure that there's going to be an end so we cannot help god to do what only him can do and i have also reminded you that the church is in the very last peak of the end time are we here the bible said towards the end time that the love of many will was cold and many will withdraw their love for christ evil will increase so much man's heart will be hardened but god will remain god so whatever you are saying right now do not be dismayed are you hearing me i told you two sundays ago that the name of the lord is what and the righteous and the safe so if you are not to mourn for any reason because this world you are living is not your own get your mind engaged in christ believe that it is well with your soul it is well with nigerian nation and everything about nigeria is saved in the plans of god there's nothing we are experiencing now that have not happened before amen amen that's the day that is coming the Bible call it the day of the Lord. And it said that the day of the Lord is near. A songwriter wrote and said, That day, oh, that day. I remember that day. I will never forget that day. You know, that day was the day you met your Savior. And that day will be the day you will meet with Him in heaven praise god so continue in the faith that you have engage your hands on the thing that he has taught you and i believe god that you will fulfill your appointment in jesus name now i want to show you two scriptures this morning one of them is Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 if you have your bible as you are as you are standing open to it romans chapter 8 and verse 28 um, if you like, you can doubt the possibilities of the scripture. But for me, to live is gain. For me to live is um, Christ. And for me to die is gain. Romans 8.28 And he said, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose all things are working for my good the choir of the dominion girl will sing it all things are working for my good it's intentional god is making it i believe that all things is working for my good how many of you still believe here that i know that all things 
is working together for my promotion for my announcement for my connection i want you to lift up your voice and say lord in this month of march i believe your word all things in life and the spirit shall work for my good in the name of jesus and my marriage all things shall work for my god and my career all things shall work together for my god lord and my nation nigeria all things shall work together for my god i know oh god that no one will roll without your permission i know that you will contend with all illegality i know you will dismantle all the mountains i know that you will make a way for me where there's no way all time shall walk for my god you will arise and contend with the contenders of my life you will arise and contend with contenders of my home you will arise and contend with the contenders of our family your power shall work for my God. Your word shall work for my God. Your presence shall work for my God. In Jesus mighty name we pray you may be seated we don't have time for long words today especially this morning I'm going to tell you a story in the Bible and that is going to help you and I it's encouraging to my heart to see that even in the midst of the downpour the atmosphere the road all of you are in the church this morning to seek the face of God this month you shall find God. I wish you amen can be living. This shall be our month of divine engagement. What do I call it? And the pastor that we shall be looking at this month is to create an atmosphere of God's presence. On the street, you will see cloud. In the night and day, you may see cloud. It might look like an end. But the only good thing you will do for yourself is to create an atmosphere that reminds your mind and your life, I am not alone. I am with you till the end of the earth. People may not see God with you. You are the only one that will accept and believe that God is with you. In the thickest of your loneliness, as you walk alone, and it's like the world is ending in the eyes of many for you, please lift up your heart and see the Lord around you. This month, create an atmosphere. You create an atmosphere by having an intimacy with your Bible. Always switch on to heavenly music. You reduce your time with home video. Are we here? You reduce your time with news that makes you tensive and confused. Switch on to Facebook and life messages. Keep playing them. Keep playing them. Are we here? Renew your mind. The Bible said, renew your mind. By taking the word of God daily. That is one of the things you must do. The second thing you are going to do is word encounter. Word encounter. You must at least, in every given week, have at least three new scriptures in your mind, in your spirit. 
that you can quote of her. Are we here? I just show you one. Where did we read now? Pastor Kara has just shown you Leviticus 26. Okay? You might not discover them yourself, but just as you even receive them in the church, stay on them, memorize on them. At least every week this month, have three new scriptures in your spirit that you can quote offhand. Are we here? Without carrying your Bible. Number three, Holy Spirit has not inspired. Jesus said to the church, I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you an offer. He said, I will send you hell. I will send you a paracletor, a hell from me. The help you will ever need, more than the help of your pastor, your wife, your husband, your destiny helpers, is the help of the Holy Spirit. It's one of the greatest gifts of God. Ask yourself, how can I walk with the Holy Spirit? I've walked alone in my ways. They are the summaries of our of our items. And then the last one a financial activation. Financial what? The Bible says, Give and it shall be given unto you. The only law that will make you have money is the law of giving money. Praise God. Increase and improve on your finances. Stop analyzing this whole money has not gone to heaven. They were just telling us that somebody withdrew 200 billion dollars from the central bank so the money finished. I said, three individual withdrawal is what brought this country to where it is now. But when they withdraw the money, to, they may have withdraw the money to share. And the money is circulating. Is some people now are looking for who to meet and bless. Some are trying to buy land and build these houses, and they are going to buy what you are selling. Praise God! So money has not gone for just have a faith push on your giving. You are giving your offering. Lord, renew my financial destiny. Are we here? You have your tithe. Oh God, by the blessings of tithe. Some of you have just paid your first fruit. I'm going to pray for every one of you that I paid your first fruit on Sunday again. Pray God. God told me it's in the midst of the crisis. He's going to raise millionaires in this ministry. If you like, don't say amen. I remember I just going to be one encounter. Just one opportunity. And you're there. Praise God. Alright, so... That is what I'm going to let you know. We're going to talk more of them in the evening. Now, in the Bible, come back to Nigeria and where we are now. One day, there was one season, there was a king in Israel whose name is Joseph. You remember the man? He was a very God-fearing man. And suddenly, because he was God-fearing, an enemy nation gathered against Israel about five enemy nations gathered against israel how can he fight five nations where will he start i perceive that enemies have gathered against our nation there are five marginal enemies who are gathered against our nation and they're so powerful they have money they have connection and their thinking is the same. So what do we do? I think in my mind, as I wake up this morning, I say, Lord, I want to leave my people to start looking at you and thinking like Joseph had. What did he do when five nations gathered against him? Did he run away from Israel? Oh, you are not speaking to me. Did he engage himself and start crying and shouting? He gathered his people for prayers. 
for worship. Look at chapter 15, Second Chronicles chapter 20. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Are we here? I read from verse 17. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Say to yourself, stand, stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them. For the Lord will be with you. Are we here? And Joseph bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. Are we here? In the midst of enemies. Look, as a pastor, I am not asking you to go to the streets. There's nothing you are going to the street we do. That may not be a popular motion. But I am asking you to return to God. I am asking you that your prayer alone can make a difference. Are we here? Your life is important to me. You don't give your life to people who have no value for life. How many lives have they wasted and how many apologies have they made? Bow down wherever you are. Call on God, the creator of Nigerian nation. And tell him, we are surrounded by the enemies. But we will not give up. Are we here? The king did it. Bow down and worship. The Bible says, by the time the enemies were just there, planning with all their armories on what to do, he gathered the people. And that they were worshiping the Lord. A voice came. May God make you a prophetic voice this morning. Amen. May you be the mother who will wake up and say to your children, I see the Lord visit you this morning. May you be the mother who wake up this morning and say, I see, say to your sons, I see, the, I see you get this morning, go out, and I see you return with a mighty miracle. Amen. Gather the people said, that's this challenge. It's time to pray. May you gather your people. Hold their hands together and cry out to the Lord. Cry out for the business of your husband. For the business of your wife. For the schools of your children. I say to you, you will never live a lower standard life. Are uh, you see here? The man that spoke was a young man. He was not a known prophet. The spirit of God entered him. And when he spoke, the king did not despise his voice. He spoke. He said, I have taken over the battle. What we pray in this morning, Lord, we hand over the battle of Nigeria into your hand. We hand over the battle of our families into your hand. We hand over the battle that are before us into your hand. But remember that they didn't just go into the battle. They created an atmosphere of worship. God speaks when we gather in worship. It's not a moment for noise. Don't wake up with making noise. You will waste your day. Wake up with a renewed hope. Where's my Bible? Oh, where's my devotional? Oh, where's my phone? Put us more music. Create an atmosphere. Worship. If you have time, relax a bit after worshiping before you jump out. Are we here? Now, immediately the king had instruction from the prophet. Look at what he did. And Joseph bowed his head with his face to the ground. That's, Lord, I accept the word that you have taken over the battle. I surrender this burden to you. Can I hear you say, Lord, I surrender this burden to you. I surrender this challenge to you. I surrender this situation to you. Take over. Jesus, take over. Come and sing it again. Take over. 
Jesus take home. I cannot do it on my own. Unless you take home. Listen, to go to the streets is to do it on your own. Are we here? To go to God and worship and bow with a burden. Lord, even if they meant it for evil, even if they meant it to continue the terrorism, even if they meant it to scatter this nation, Lord, arrest their heart. Divide their car. In time to their car. Because of your name and because of your people. How many of you believe that God can hear such prayers? We have, it's not the worst of our situation. We've had situations in this nation and God intervened. God will still intervene because we're still here. And the Levites of the children of the Kohahite and of the children of the Kohites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. They began to praise God. How can you be praising God when you are surrounded by the enemies? Maybe they, some people are feeling that the church may not be able to hold service anymore. The pastors will not be able to speak anymore. Listen. There is always a voice for every situation. They start making holy noise unto the holy God. They start committing the situation to God. The musicians came out. The prayer warriors came out. Every one of you has one, uh, one assignment in this church. Who occupy one department in this church. The women, the youth, the men. It's time to wake up. Are we here? I love what I'm seeing here. Verse 20. They rose early in the morning. I went forth into the wilderness where the enemies were of take off. And they went forth. Joseph passed stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. Don't walk with your mind. The greatest of financial breakthrough will happen this mood. Come on, shout amen like a believer. Amen. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of his holiness. And they went up before the army and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercies endure forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir. They turned against each other, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. Everyone helped to destroy one another. What did they do? There was no night vision. There was no mountain. I just read this morning there were two pastors that went to the mountain to pray. And they couldn't come back. And they went there to look for them. And they found that two of them have died. Okay. Whether they overfasted or whether they overdid what they did, I don't know. Listen. What God is looking for is your heart. And in your house, good atmosphere. Are we here? Lifting up to God. I know how my God can fight my battle. I will try to express my mind. This is what I want as a nation. All of us have done it. We all went out. We all did our best. Are we here? And God say, allow our best not to give us the best of what we want. So what do you do? And we know that all things are working for good for them that lost God and for them that are called according to his purpose. When Pharaoh said, I will see that you are God that will deliver you from me. We saw what happened. When Shedekerep rose up, I will saw what happened. Come on, are we here? Let's hold our God. Our God may be unpopular, 
but we know what they can do for the earth is the law the bullet thereof and they that dwell therein and they began to praise god the enemies turn against each other i want to believe god if what is happening in nigeria is not of you lord turn the enemies against each other rise to your feet the church is see the answer whether we are popular don't blame any prophet they say this they say this everyone has emotion are we here i have not told you who will win the election or who will not win the election i only told you to cast your vote praise god so you just believe god for whom god is lift your hands and say god i believe you what you cannot do does not exist thank you for what you've done so far thank you for what you have allowed in our nation and thank you for what you are doing right now blessed be the name of the lord in the name of jesus i want you to lift up your voice and pray this three prayer you see to praise god is an anointing we call it anointing of prayer what joseph had did was to engage god and god engaged the enemies are we here what did he do he engaged god and god engaged the enemies he engaged god and god engaged the enemies i want you to pray and say god anoint me in the month of march with the spirit of prayers and spirit of praise in worship the spirit of prayer the spirit of praise in worship in worship let my mind be lifted and let my spirit be revived in the consciousness that i have god who is the creator of the heaven and the earth whose ways and ways of god can never expire i receive an anointing i receive a fresh anointing of prayer I anoint your mind. I anoint your spirit. I lift the body. I lift the bear. I lift the confusion in your mind. Receive your spirit of joy. Receive your spirit of fear. Receive your spirit of fear. To believe that you are God. A bigger than your enemy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray Lord this month as I engage you in worship arise and engage my enemies in battle in the name of Jesus Lord you are the, my you are my battle ah you are the only one that can fight my battle the Bible said you will fight for me and I shall hold my bear as I hold my bear and I engage you oh God a worship as I engage you a worship as I engage you a worship Arrah! engage my enemy enemies of my home and mess of my mind and miss of my hair and miss of my natural nature and battle right like you are safer a fight of a battle right a fight a fight a fight of a battle right and take over like a da 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 lord take over like a da 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 ba shunena lord take over e ka para ga da ba do shandala lord take over Lord, take the battle to the enemy's camp. 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 
Father, the Bible says that the wicked man runneth when no man pursue. Lord, take the battle. Oh God, to the enemy's car. The battle shall not be fighting our wall. It shall not be fighting our gear. It shall be fighting the enemy's territory. Alagada posukata. Arana no shikapa. Ledo sukapa yanane yaga. In Jesus mighty name we pray. I don't know why I'm not hearing your voice. Can I hear a living amen? amen? Now the Bible says here, and the enemies turn against themselves. Three nations that came in the course of an atmosphere that was created. You know, when they were worshiping God, they created an atmosphere. And the atmosphere brought God down. And the gods turned against each other. When your God comes down, your enemies will be torn against each other. Say, so, Lord, as I engage you in worship, in the month of March, turn the enemies of my nation against each other. Let the war break forth in their car. They buy them as scattered. Whatever is their intention, frustrated and divided. Let the God confusion be upon the car of the enemies of our nation. Let their evil motor, oh God, for violating and breaking the law, oh God, be disappointed. Arise, enter my house. Let every unknown. No enemy, oh God, be exposed. Allow the terror of the terror be scattered. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Nigerians are dreamers. And God given dream cannot be terminated by any force. The dream of new Nigeria can never die. It shall be alive. I am aware we are in the end time. But the Bible I promise that God will make all things new. All things new. I know I will not die until I've seen the new Nigeria. Are we here? If it's not changing now, it means that God wants us to live longer. To see how he will deal with the wicked. The truth is that Pharaoh did not have his way at the end. Are we here? King Saul did not have his way against David at the end. Herod did not have his way on Jesus at the end. The enemy cannot have the power to have their way. Lift up your heart. Lord, have your way in Nigeria. Lord, have your way in Nigeria. Lord, have your way in Nigeria. Lord, where is your east way? Blow it on Nigeria. Ayala kapatata. Alala palaba. Can you see your house? Lord, have your way in my house. Lord, have your way in satellite house. Lord, have your way in my marriage. Lord, have your way in my hair. Lord, have your way in my body. Lord, have your way. In Jesus day we pray lift up your hand in the month of March your life shall march forward if you are not a suspect let your amen believe in in the month of March sound of victory shall be heard in your life shall be heard in your house in the month of March heaven shall remember you and the earth shall celebrate you in the month of March, when men are crying, the Lord shall put laughter in your mouth. 
in the name of Jesus. And I said, the Lord will have his way. The Lord will have his way. Over the new dream for new Nigeria. Because we are in Nigeria. The Lord will have his way. In Abuja, the Lord will have his way. The Lord will invade the car of the enemies of this nation. And the Lord will have his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you have an offering, you take the offering and then give me the oil. Let me anoint you for anointing of newness. It's a mountain of promotion and lifting. You are, your devotional is already on the various platforms. Just make sure you read it. And then remember the four things I've told you. Atmosphere, uh, anointed word, the Holy Spirit, and financial activation. Praise God. And then remember that giving your offering is good. But the, the consciousness by which you give it is more important. Are we here? So if you have your, your, an offering, you, you, it's, it's not compulsory, but it's good you will have an offering. Praise God. God understands where we are. Lord, every single word you have placed in our mouth this morning is commanded to dwell in this oil. And as I anoint my children by faith, let this anointing bear fruit in their lives. All our friends and brethren connected to the social media, I connect your destiny, I connect your family, I connect your finances to this meeting. I declare that the Lord will have his way in your lives. I declare that the Lord will visit you. And your expectation shall be granted to you. And the Lord will give you a new song. Also, I ask you by the grace of God to find a way of reaching out to this ministry. And drop your seed. In Jesus name. Amen. Where are you? Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month. In Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month. In Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month. In Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month. In Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month. In Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month and your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, call the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son and your daughter this month in Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. For the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. For the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. For the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. 
For the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. For the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. For the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. For the glory of your anointing to rest upon your children this month and break. They them break to wherever they are in Jesus' name. Remember your son and break forth in his life this month of marriage in Jesus' name. For Lord, cause the glory of your anointing to rest upon your son this month in Jesus' name. Cause your glory, O God, to rest upon me this month in Jesus' name. Amen. Now come and take um, come and take this flyer.